Hello everybody, today we're going to be looking at a new board that I've designed that uh, is, is for the purpose of switching mains currents using either relays or triacs. Um, you can see a write-up of uh, why I do this, why I'm doing it, and um, the, the design of this board on my website. There's a link down in the uh, video introduction below. So let's have a look at the board. It's now arrived from Seed Studio. I, first time I've used Seed Studio, Studio in a while, and the reason I did it this time is because they're offering you know, a scarcely believable um, 10 copies of a 10 by 10 centimeter PCB uh, for just $4.90 plus delivery. So I couldn't resist it and I, I use them and basically they're just the same as everywhere else for these prototypes, um, quality PCBs. The result's very good. This is an all through hole board. Uh, it's really easy to build and it's designed to fit inside a computer case. Uh, these hole locations here, these mounting hole locations, um, are designed to fit in a, uh, the footprint of a two and a half millimeter hard disk. So it can be mounted inside a computer case. The idea is that these relays here that will fit that will fit in these positions will be controlled by a USB uh, a microchip USB controller that's here, um, and the footprint is there for a USB B uh, connector so that we can connect it to an internal USB card inside the computer, which will be used to switch these relays and also this triac here. The triac is used for mains dimming. It's basically AC phase angle control, as it's called pro properly. Um, but it, is, it gives a dimming effect to the mains, which means I can apply a proportional change to, to, to an external device rather than just having it switch on and off, which is what the relays would do here. So I'll go and build this and then we'll go and have, we'll have a play with it and see how it performs. Okay, so here it is all built and looking quite good. It's a, an all through hole um, board. So everything's cut looking nice and chunky rather than just, you know, little bits of specks of dust that you get when you do an SMD board. Um, so let's have a quick look at what's on here. We have a uh, relay and its terminal uh, multi times three, three relays, three terminals for them. We have the triac mounted to a large heat sink. We have mains in and out, and we have the device in and out um, that's going to be controlled by this triac. Um, we have the big fat uh, resistor here that we, that's used to feed this opto isolator here. This is basically the zero crossing circuit. You can see it in the, um, in the design for this board on my website. You need a zero crossing circuit so that you can switch the triac on at the, at the correct time. Um, um, basically it will switch itself off at the next zero crossing. But it's, uh, all that AC phase angle theory is covered in my um, article. So please go, go visit that if you want to read about it. Here we have the microcontroller that does all does the business. That's the um, AT Mega 328P that everybody will probably know from the Arduino. Um, I've got an external um, eight megahertz crystal there to uh, supply a clock. And um, there's the programming header for the, um, the ISP programming header. So it's easy to program with the USB ASP um, programmer. That's a micro, um, sorry, microchip um, USB to serial uh, controller there also through hole and we've got the USB socket right next to it. So the basic idea is, it's really simple. Commands come in um, over a you know, UART from the, uh, from the PC, um, through, uh, through USB, sorry, with where they get converted to a UART by this chip, which then um, is connected to the UART pins on the uh, Atmega 328P there. Um, those commands simply switch on and off the relays and control the triac there. So let's plug it in and see if it works. Right, so it's plugged in, the computer's recognized it. You actually don't even have to write any firmware for the microcontroller to get this thing working. The MCP2221 um, from Microchip here will start up and immediately start uh, start working. So you don't actually even need to um, to write anything. As long as you're happy with the, the default speed of 9600 board, you can just start using it straight away. And that's what I'm doing here. Now I have written some firmware for this, um, for this uh, Atmega 328P here, which is designed to control the relays and the triac. And we'll just, we'll just um, try that now. So what I'm doing is you can see from the, from the inset, um, you know, the inset window on this video that I'm sending a command called heat on, which is does the you know, obvious thing of switching this relay labeled heat on. So if I press enter now to send it, off it goes. So it works. The, um, the controller re re received the command to um, switch the relay on. You've probably heard it click and the little indicator LED has come on at the same time. Let's turn it off now with heat off. And there we go. It's gone off. So I now know that that works. I won't bore you with the other ones, but yes, they all work. Um, so it, that's looking good. I can control um, the relays easy enough. But now let's have a look at the triac. That's a different kettle of fish. We, uh, to be able to test that, I will actually need to put a load onto it so I can see whether it's going to work or not. What I'm going to do is I'll switch, switch the load through, um, 
What shall I use? Yes, I know. I'll use a work light. I've got a little work light which I use for this purpose. I'm going to attach that up now and we'll see if I can control the current going to it in, um, in ste steps of, say, 10% and that should verify that it's all working. Right, we're all rigged up for the test of the triac. What we've got here is um, mains going in here. We've got the work light connected to the um, terminals here. We've got a little quick test unit here, which is just useful for um, testing uh, main circuits where you don't have a plug handy. So when I close this lid, the uh, circuit will be live. And so I shall do that now and I'll try and bring the work light into the shot. So let's close that. We are now connected. Get hold of the work light. Um, I hope this won't swamp the camera out. Um, now what I'm going to do is run a shell script which will count up uh, from percentage zero to 100% in steps of 10 with a one second delay. So we should see the, the lamp go from zero to 100, then it, then it runs again and just goes back down to zero. Um, so I'll press enter now to get this going. And it's now going, so 10%, 20, 30, 40. It's going to swamp the camera, but you can see it uh, rising up in intensity. Um, I should have done a dis display to show where we're at in terms of percentage on the screen, but didn't. Oh, there's zero, 10 again, and 20. So basically we can see that the triac is working. If it wasn't working, if I got the zero crossing detection wrong, there'd be obvious flickering in the in the bulb there because I'd be missing the zero crossing and it would be chopping at the wrong time, it would flicker, it would, it would be very obvious. So that's looking nice. The triac's working. Um, and I'll just get that out of the shot because it's just going to swamp the camera and you won't be able to see anything. Um, so I, know, I now know that the triax that triac's good, which completes the testing of this board, really. Um, I think that was it. This is quite a short video. If you want to see how I built the board, and I do have some uh, spare PCBs uh, left over if you want, uh, want one. There's not many. Um, basically, you get a batch of 10 from seed, and I only need one, so there's nine available to buy on my website. Um, and of course, you can use it for controlling any kind of mains, mains devices that you want, as long as you don't exceed the current ratings of either the triac or the, the relays here. Um, in, for my purposes, I'm going to be controlling a fridge and a heater, uh, which I'll be using to for fermentation control during um, home brewing. So, um, but, but there's no limitation to as to why it should be just used for that. You could you could um, find any use for it that you that you wanted if you wanted to build one of these, and it is all through hull, so it's really easy. Um, and that's all really. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching this brief video, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you later. Bye now.